Hi everyone, this is Megan with Left and Knots, and today I am going to show you how to crochet a basic mitten. You can find the written pattern for this mitten on my blog at leftandknots.com. It's called the Perfect Fit Mitten if you're looking for it there. If you're viewing this video on YouTube, I will go ahead and link that pattern below. I do recommend that you follow along with the printed pattern as you are making these mittens. For this pattern, you need approximately 160 yards of worsted weight yarn. I just used a basic acrylic. You could use an acrylic wool blend, whatever you prefer. A five millimeter crochet hook or an H hook, a scissors and a yarn or tapestry needle. The right and left handed version of this mitten is the same. So I'm just going to walk you through making one mitten and then you'll use the exact same pattern for making a matching pair. I hope you enjoy this pattern you can find the rest of my video tutorials on YouTube, and you can find over 100 free crochet patterns, including several other mitten patterns, on my blog, www.leftandknots.com. So now we're going to get started. So to start this mitten, we're going to work from the top down, meaning we'll start at the fingertips and work down to the wrist. So to begin, we're going to start with a magic circle. I'll do it slowly in case you're not familiar with it, but if you need more help with the magic circle, I will link that video tutorial that I have also along with this video. I do my magic circle by wrapping it around two fingers and crossing my working yarn over the tail on the top of my fingers, inserting my hook, pull that yarn underneath, yarn over with your working yarn, pull through that loop and then pull it tight. Then you've got your yarn on your hook and you're going to work your first round into this circle. So for this first round you're going to chain one. This mitten is made up of half double crochet stitches. Half double crochet is yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull up or pull through all three loops on your hook. Again, that's yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, or pull through all three loops on your hook. And for this first round, you're gonna work 10 half double crochet stitches. I'm working with a fairly tight tension for these mittens because I want them to be warm. Um, the written pattern will also be linked along with this video, so please do check your gauge. Otherwise your mittens might end up bigger or smaller than mine. There's my 10 half double crochet stitches in my magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to take the tail of my magic circle, pull it tight, and that's why we want to start with the magic circle because then you can get a nice tight closure at the top. And then you're going to want to slip stitch at the end of that round to this first stitch of the round to join. If this hole loosens up as you work, that's not a problem. Um, when you go to weave in your ends at the end, just pull it nice and tight one more time and then weave in your ends and it should hold tight. On to round two. Round two, we're going to do increases. So we're gonna chain one again and we're going to work two half double crochets into each of our stitches from the previous round. So we had 10 stitches in our first round, we're going to double that and we're going to work 20 in the second round. So that's looks like this, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, same stitch you slip stitched into, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through all three, then you're going to yarn over, go back into that same stitch one more time, Pull your yarn through the stitch, yarn over, and pull through all three. 
So you're going to be working two stitches, two half double crochet stitches per stitch from the previous round. So now you can see here my hole has opened back up again. I'm not going to worry about that until I go to weave in my ends because you can just keep pulling it tight. Now I'm at the end of my second round and I'm going to find that first stitch of the round and again go through there and slip stitch right into that first stitch. So that's your insert your hook through the stitch, yarn over and then pull through everything on your hook and pull tight. Now we're going to have one last round of increases before we start just maintaining our stitch count around. Now for round three I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to work still increases but this time I'm going to work two half double crochets in this first stitch, one in the next, two in this stitch, one in this stitch. And you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around two, one, two, one, two, one. Um, so you're going to end up with 30 stitches around. So that looks like this. Half double crochet in that first stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that same stitch you just worked into for another half double crochet. Now you're going to go to your next stitch with one half double crochet. Now your third stitch of the round, you're going to, going to do another increase with two, so one, and then go back into that same stitch with number two. and then you'll work one half double crochet in this next stitch. Now I'm going to continue that pattern around until I get to the end of round three. And again I'm at the end of round three. I'm going to find my first stitch of the round, insert my hook, and slip stitch into that first stitch to join it. Now for round four through 16, I'm going to be just crocheting one stitch per stitch around. So we're gonna maintain that 30 stitches around stitch count until round 16. So you're gonna chain one, and then just work one stitch per stitch of your previous round. So no more increases. I'm going to go ahead and complete rounds four through 16. Uh, this would be a good time to pause and work on your own mitten. And I will also mention if you need to make your mitten longer or shorter in the fingers, by the end of round 16, you kind of want it hitting about here on your hand. So if you need to add or subtract rows, or sorry, rounds, now would be the time to do it, to adjust the length for this top finger portion of the mitten. Okay, so here you can see that I've gotten to the end of round 16. Again, I've slip stitched to join at the end of each round. And this is fitting over my fingers where I explained earlier. You know, it's just hitting the crook of my thumb. So again, this is where you can adjust whether you want to add more rounds or subtract if, if you'd like. But as the pattern is written, this is the end of round 16. Round 17 is where we're going to make the thumb hole. So you're going to start like we always have with a chain one. You're going to half double crochet just in this very first stitch. And now you're actually going to chain six stitches. So just yarn over and pull through six times. Three, four, five, six. And you want these tight but loose enough to work into, just like you would start with a chain um, if you were working on a flat piece. You're going to chain those six and then skip these next two stitches here and here and half double crochet 
into this fourth stitch of the round. Now you're just going to keep half double crocheting around to finish off this round. This will create the thumb hole, but we won't actually crochet the thumb until we're done with the rest of the mitten. The thumb kind of gets added at the end. So remember in round 16 you had 30 stitches. Round 17 you added these six chain stitches, but then you also skipped two. So you end up in this round with 28 half double crochets plus these six chain stitches. Get to the end and then again you slip stitch into this first stitch of the round and pull tight. So in round 18, you're going to chain one, half double crochet in that first stitch, and then work a half double crochet in each one of these six chain stitches. You can just grab one loop or you can grab both loops, it doesn't really matter because this is where we're going to be attaching the thumb as well. So it won't really matter for the look of the mitten. Here you see I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to continue to half double crochet around the rest of this round. One, one half double crochet per stitch still. So I just finished round 18. I'm going to slip stitch again. Pull tight. And now you can see when I slip this on my hand that I have formed that thumb hole. So this is where we're going to, once we get to the done down to the wrist of the mitten, then we're going to come back and add this thumb. Row, rounds 19 and 20 are just going to be half double crochet around. So at 18, in round 18, when you worked into those chain stitches, you worked into a total of 34 stitches and rounds 19 and 20 will also have 34 half double crochets. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, this would be a great time to pause the video, work on your own. And then when I come back, we're going to start doing a few decreases to help shape the mitten to the contours of your hand. So now I've completed through round 20. Again, round 20 had 20 or er, 34 stitches in the round. Now we're just going to do a little decrease in this next round to start tapering the mitten in along this wrist part of your hand. It's not a ton of counting, but we're going to do a little bit of counting with our stitches here. So I'm going to chain one for round 21, and then I'm going to half double crochet in the first six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then in these next two stitches I'm going to half double crochet two together. So that's yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert your hook into this next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all four loops on your hook. So that's basically a decrease turning two stitches into one. Now I'm going to half double crochet in the next 15 stitches.
15. Again, I'm going to half double crochet these next two stitches together. A decrease turning two stitches into one. Yarn over, pull through the stitch, pull through the second stitch, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. And then you should have nine stitches left in this round to finish off this round. So because you worked those two half double crochet two together stitches, at the end of round 21 you will have 32 stitches around instead of 34. You decreased by two stitches for this round, which isn't much but it just helps it taper in at your wrist a little bit better for the mitten. I like my mittens to look fitted as opposed to boxy. And so that's the reason for all the shaping. Round 22 is another easy round. We're just going to half double crochet around. So again, that's just 32 stitches around. These mittens are a great starter piece for learning how to make mittens. I do have a lot of other free mitten patterns on my blog that incorporate different stitches, cuffs, um, just different accents that you can add to them to make them look a little bit more complex. They all follow, at least so far, they all follow the same top-down pattern of construction. Um, stitch counts and things like that vary. But once you have these mitten basics down, they're really no harder than like a top-down hat or a beanie. And they're a lot of fun to play with and they're a relatively quick project. They don't require much yarn. They make nice gifts and I just personally like having several pairs of mittens around the house because I always seem to be needing them. I get my daughter dressed and bundled for the snow and then I forget to dress myself beyond a coat. One of the biggest thing to remember with mittens is, again, check your tension because if you're a lot looser than me, your mittens will end up a lot bigger than, than my finished mittens. And then also just maintaining cons a consistent tension because you're making two of a matching set, you want them to end up as the same size. So really practice your tension and getting that tension nice and even. So I just finished round 22. Round 23 will be some more decreased stitches. We're going to chain one. This time we're going to do a decrease and a repeat pattern. So we're going to half double crochet in the first stitch, half double crochet in the second stitch, and then we're going to half double crochet two together in the next two stitches. And that's what we're going to repeat around. So again, that repeat is half double crochet in one, half double crochet in the next, and then half double crochet two together. This is really going to taper the mitten pattern to fit around your wrist instead of leaving, you know, big gaps and a boxy shape. You should end with that same repeat, one half double crochet, another half double crochet, and then half double crochet two together should get you right to the end of your round. If you have an extra stitch or two, that means you just lost count somewhere in that round. Again, join with a slip stitch. And at the end of this round, you will have gone down to 24 stitches around. So I'll try this on to show you how it's starting to fit my hand. You can see that it's tapered into the wrist nicely. And now, this is at the end of round 23. Rounds 24 through 28 are just going to extend this wrist section. So no more decreasing, we're just going to do 
um, half double crochet around and this again is where you can feel free to adjust some length if you want a longer wrist section you can add some rows if you want your mittens a little bit shorter in the wrist you can certainly stop wherever it's comfortable for you um, but I continued my pattern through round 28 So round 24 we're going to chain one and just half double crochet, one half double crochet in each stitch of the previous round. I will go ahead and complete this. This would be a good time for you to pause and work on yours through the next few rounds. Again I'm going to stop at round 28 and then when I come back I will show you uh, where I got to and then I will show you how to attach the thumb onto your mitten. Okay, so here you can see I've finished through round 28 and it's gotten me to finish my wrist section of my mitten. You can see how it tapers in nicely so it fits close to my wrist. And like I said, you can adjust the number of rounds here to your preference for however long you want that wrist section to be. Once you get done with that part, you're going to cut your yarn and tie off your end. We'll worry about weaving in ends later because we'll still have a few more to do on the thumb. Attaching your thumb is also customizable in size to your preference, however tight you want it to be around your thumb. You're going to work obviously in this space. Insert your hook. I always like to insert my hook in one of these stitches up here. And you're going to take your yarn, leave a tail long enough to weave in, pull it through, and just do a quick slip stitch to pull it tight. Now you're going to chain one, and that slip stitch will, will come loose again a little bit until you weave in those ends. But you're going to chain one and half double crochet into that stitch that you just attached your yarn to. Again, keeping that tight tension we've been working with for this project. Now for the thumb, I'm going to start with 14 stitches worked around this space. You may need to work in some untraditional spaces like the posts of a stitch um, to achieve that number. Just work them evenly around so that you don't have gaps because you don't want to leave a big gaping hole here at the end. That's number two. Number three. Four. And again, you're going to be working into some non-traditional spaces, and that's okay. Five. Seven. It might feel a little tight working in this space. Eight, but that's just because it's a space small enough for your thumb. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Oh, try that one again. Eleven. Twelve. So I have two left. I'll work one there. Thirteen. And one here for number 14. So again, you can see how I kind of just picked picked spaces around. I don't have any big gaping holes left around. If you find that 14 stitches is too wide or too narrow for your thumb, you can 
go down to 12 or up to 16 around this space here. Again, just space them out evenly. And then you're going to find that first stitch that you worked around in the thumb. Slip stitch to join and pull it tight. So you'll have this tail to weave in at the end now too. Now for five more rounds, so this was round one, through round six I'm just going to chain one and half double crochet around through round six. And again your stitch count is 14 if you're following the pattern. And then I'll come back and show you round seven where we decrease for the tip of the thumb. So here I am at the end of round six for my thumb. You can see that it almost reaches the tip of my thumb. There's a tiny bit left. This is another good place to adjust in number of rounds if you want to make this longer or shorter. You can certainly do more or less than six before you start the decreases to make the tip of your thumb. As the pattern is, is written, round seven you will start your decreases. Since you started with 14 stitches around, you're going to end up with seven stitches at the end of this round. So you're going to do half double crochet two together all the way around for this round seven. So you chain one, half double crochet two together, yarn over and pull through all the four loops. And you're going to continue working two stitches into one all the way around the tip of the thumb, remembering to keep your tension nice and tight. If you are having trouble with getting your tension tight enough with these mittens, you could I, I do crochet pretty tightly, so if you need to go down a hook size, you always could do that as well. But when you get to the end of your half double crochet two togethers for that round, you're going to slip stitch back into that first stitch of the round, and this time you're just going to cut your yarn with a long enough tail to weave in ends and tie it off. So you'll notice you have a little hole at the top there. We're going to fix that now when we weave in our ends. So take your yarn or tapestry needle And then this, with this tail you're going to work your tapestry needle back and forth through each of those seven stitches of that last round. So there I've worked through all seven stitches back and forth. Then I'm going to pull that tight just to cinch it shut so that open gap goes away. And then I'm just going to, um, if you want to go straight into weaving your ends here, you can. I like to knot it off just so that closure stays nice and tight. So I like to do a simple knot first and then weave in my ends. But that's up to you. Now as, as you're looking at this mitten it is wrong side out so after we weave in these ends we're going to flip it right side out. So you can just go ahead and weave in your ends on the side that you see right now. Again at the top closure with this magic circle you want to make sure that's pulled nice and tight before you weave in your ends. And use your preferred end weaving in method. I like to go, I'm doing a little bit less than I normally would just in the interest of time for this video, but I like to go an inch or two and then come back almost in the exact same direction that I came from so that the tension pulls against itself and your tails are less likely to slip out that way. So four ends to weave in on a mitten, not too bad. And 
taking one last one down at the wrist. Now you're ready to turn your mitten right side out. Push that thumb through. And there you have your basic crocheted mitten. Remember, I do have a lot of other free mitten crochet patterns available on my blog at leftandknots.com along with the written out version of this pattern. It's called the Perfect Fit Mitten and I will link it below if you're viewing this on YouTube. I also have over 100 other free cro crochet patterns available, so please go check me out. Again, that's www.leftandknots.com. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I hope you'll be back for more.